Why do people come to Tagaytay? It is one of the most popular choices for a quick getaway in the Philippines, only a couple of hours away from Manila. Do people come here for its picture-perfect sceneries that is pleasing to look at? Is it the mighty power of this little volcano that sits on this little island on a lake, which from time to time will burst a puff of steam? Is it the cool climate that gives people relief from the hot weather? Or is it the many restaurants which serves the local delicacies such as bulalo? There are also many friendly activities for the whole family here. In this video, I will share our day trip to give you some ideas. We hired a van for our day excursion to Tagaytay. I recommend private transportations for there are a lot to see. Our first stop was the Tagaytay Mahogany Meat Market. On the lower part of this building is where you can buy fresh beef and other beef products. If you want beef or any part of the cow, this is the place to buy it. They sell everything from hooves, intestines, skins, liver, lung, kidney, heart, and so on. Nothing is ever wasted. They have some good looking beef there and it's fairly inexpensive. The top floor of this building are a lot of eateries that serves the famous dish called bulalo. It is a beef dish that is made by cooking beef shanks and bone marrow, which includes leafy vegetables like pet chai or cabbage, corn on the cob, scallions, onions, garlic, ginger, and fish sauce. Other things that you can buy in this market are Filipino sweet delicacies or snack foods such as piaya, peanut brittle, pasillas, Holborone and others. You can also buy fresh cooked snack in this market, such as suman, which is made out of uh, sticky sweet rice and it's wrapped up in banana leaves. Delicious. As you stroll along the market, you will also notice other items that are being sold, such as varieties of rice. There's red, brown, and white. And there's also fam famous here are the food items that are being sold are the dried fish. How about fresh fruit? There's a variety of fresh fruits that's being sold, such as dragon fruit, lanzonas, all different varieties of bananas, such as the little senorita bananas, cuyabanos, and many more. love to be able to come to the market and pick fresh fruits and take it home and eat them. They're delicious. Oh, how about fruit trees? Very cheap prices for a fruit tree with fruit already growing. 
We have lemon trees, calamansi, santol, camias, orange tree, and many more. They have purple silly, which is uh, peppers, and all kinds of herbs that you can buy and plant it at home, grow your little garden of herbs. And last but not least, our flowers to your delight. So many different exotic tropical flowers. Perhaps shopping is not your style of fun. The Sky Ranch is the highly recommended amusement and adventure park here. There are areas where you can sit and have a picnic with your kids. Here is a place where the whole family can enjoy. There were quite a few people that, that were there at the time. They have booths where you can buy all kinds of food. Here's a booth for your sweet tooth. They look so yummy. Must have self-control if you are watching your calories. specially made for your order the way you want it. The main attraction here is the Ferris Wheel. It is officially known as the Sky Eye which, and it is the tallest Ferris Wheel in the country. It has 63 meters with 32 gondolas and when you ride in it you are 2,207 feet high since the Gaitai City has an elevation of 2,000 feet above sea level. And if you are adventurous they also have a zip line. As you walk along the edge of the park you will notice and have a great view of the volcano. Ta'al is located on a small island in a large caldera in Lake Ta'al. It is one of the world's smallest volcanoes and the second most active volcanoes in the country. It has 38 recorded historical eruptions in the past 450 years. The volcano is a beautiful place that easily reminds us how powerful nature is. When calm, it offers a picturesque view that you can enjoy close up or far away. When it is roaring, the path of destruction is devastating. You can also take guided tour within the volcanic island. While we were there, it was better that we kept our distance away from it, for it was showing signs of smoke. When it is quiet, people can go horseback riding, explore trails, take a boat ride, and so on. There are many photo opportunity views for Instagram pictures or selfies. There are also many restaurants, coffee shops with spectacular views of the volcano. And there are also housing developments where you can go and take a look if you are planning to buy a house or a condo here in Tagaytay.
Before lunch, we decided to go to the town of Ta'al, which is a few miles away. We wanted to do a boodle fight lunch. Don Juan Boodle House has never failed to deliver good quality and delicious meals. The seafood boodle has all the seafood you would want to eat. A boodle fight meal is a culinary experience in eating. The rules are you eat with your bare hands, although some use gloves. This Filipino tradition of eating originated from the Philippine military where a big pile of food are served in a mess hall or long table. The hungry soldiers eats with their hands and grabs and eats as much as he can before others grab them. Otherwise, you won't have any left. If you are looking for a special dress to wear, Ta'al is the place to buy that special dress or you can have them specially make one for you. This town boasts in making exquisite formal dresses. They have wedding gowns, they make men's borrow Tagalog, and also embroidery placemats. I just love this detailed mother and daughter fancy dress. Beautiful barong Tagalog for men made out of pineapple hemp. I hope that you will get a chance to visit Tagay Tai in the near future, for it is a must place to see, to escape from the chaotic city life. For now, I will be off to another destination, so my next video will be adventures from another country. But for now, so long.